All right, now that we went ahead and we started the tipped edge for the hem right here uh, on the Linux with a tipping tool, next we have to finish turning the edge up to roughly a 90, and we're going to do that by hand with a hammer and dolly, and I'll show you that in this next part of the video. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the hard edge of our dolly right here, and we're going to line that up here on the thinned line that we had started on the Linux with the tipping set, and then we're going to take our body hammer, and we're going to drive or bump this edge up like that slowly all the way around and it'll allow the hem edge to start to fold up on that thin line. So you can see, I've started getting this turned up to roughly a 90. You can see here where I've kind of faded it out. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and finish this all the way around to the same point as here, and then I'll come back in with the video, and I'll show you the next steps. That way I don't bore you guys with uh, the long drawn out process of hammering all the way around the panel. Now that the edge is all turned up, It's about ready to test fit with the inner structure. You can see that it's folded right on that slightly thin line we did on the Linux. All the way through the corners. Now I've got the, the inner structure I made uh, clamped into place here with these little spring clamps. Uh, it's not holding it down super tight, but it's holding it into position. And you can see that I can squeeze that. There's also a piece of uh, foam underneath each one of the ribs. That way it uh, keeps vibration down and helps isolate the aluminum from the steel inner structure. So next up, we're going to start to close the hem edge here, which there's the hem. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hold our dolly on the bottom side here. And I'll put a couple couple other clamps there to hold that tight and we'll start to take the hammer and we'll start knocking this edge over that direction slowly kind of the same same process we did with the uh, turning the edge up we'll work a little bit and work our way around real slow so I'm going to use these clamps with feet to hold this down tight again but then on the aluminum side I'm going to use these pieces of eighth inch UHMW that way it doesn't uh spreads the load out and it doesn't put a dent in the in the aluminum and I'm just going to use these to help put a little bit more pressure on it for starting the hem and a good trick is put something with dead weight like this lead bag in the middle here and it'll help hold that down and it'll help keep your panel from walking around.
start of the finished hem edge, I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna dress up around where the, the stud mounts are to mount it to the body, clean those up a little bit, and then I'll come back and I'll keep hammering and dollying right on the edge to finish the hem closed. Here's the bottom all hemmed up. Uh, I went around just like I kind of showed in the first one and finished off the, the hem edge here. And I came in and I filed around each one of the bolt bosses. But I came in and like I said, all of that's hammered and dollied and hemmed over. And then I came back with a DA just to remove any uh, minor hammer dolly marks. And uh, I also DA'd in about two inches from on the outside of the skin as well. So now it's ready to be put on a car and I'll, uh, I'll throw it on a car, bolt it on, and that'll be in the next clip. Well, there's the finished insert bolted into the car from the outside and I'll show you an inside shot.